was so cringe. Hey, what's good, what's good, beautiful bastards? I hope you are doing absolutely fantastic and welcome to today's ASMR video. Alright, today's video will be a Q&A. I asked you guys on Discord to give me as many questions as you want and I will make sure to answer them in the next ASMR video. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing here today. I'm going to be answering all of your questions. And uh, yeah, I want to give a big shout out to the lovely members who asked me these questions. Thank you so much, Izzy, George, Dan, Joe, you too, Izzy. Thank you so much, guys. And a uh, quick shameless plug, if you will. If you would like to join the Discord server, I will leave the link in the description. Okay. Anyways, let's get started with the questions. Let me get a sip of water first. one 
lesson, to be honest. I'm gonna give you, instead I'm gonna give you my favorite quote from the movie, okay? I have it in my Steam bio as well. I'm just gonna boot up Steam here, give me a second, so I can coach it word by word and not, you know, mess it up. Um, but it, it's really hard to pick one. Because this game taught me a lot. It's by Majima. He says, if you don't let chumps know you mean business, they will walk all over you. I like that. I really like that. If you don't let chumps know you mean business, they will walk all over you. You gotta let them know you mean business and you ain't no punk. And you ain't janky. And you ain't janky. No shit from nobody. I like that. Don't don't take shit from nobody. That's the lesson, basically. Uh, respect yourself and you know value yourself and don't let others walk all over you. I like that. Uh, also, another coach I like by uh, uh, Kuze, who is a villain in Yakuza Zero. He said, he said. Yakuza is not like boxing. You can substitute Yakuza with life. We can say life is not like boxing. Uh, the one who gets knocked out is not the loser. The one who does not get up again to keep fighting is the loser. Let me let me, let me give you the, the exact coach by Kuze. I'm just, you know, paraphrasing here. Kuze. Zero. You see how passionate I am uh, uh, about this game, bro, and this franchise. Oh, another one. I will, I will tell you another one. One second. Okay, the coach is the Yakuza game. It's not like boxing. The man who gets beat down is not the loser. The guy who cannot tough it out to the end is the one who loses. Which is why you, health as which, which is why you, health ass like you, uh, is the one thing I can't stand. Now die, you little shit. Forget about the, the, the second part of the coach. Focus on the first one. Life, the life game is not like boxing. The man who gets beat down is not the loser. The guy who cannot tough it out to the end, he's the one who loses. I like that. I like that. Uh, also, another one by, what's his name? Sakawa, who is a villain in Yakuza Zero as well. Let me uh, let me give you the exact coach. So many life lessons, bro. I could not find the exact coach online, but it says that <clears throat> I've had food from the fanciest restaurants in Japan. You know, you name it, I've had it, but nothing beats this modest meal from this street vendor and then he was like <sighs> makes you wonder what the hell money even is I love that I absolutely love that bro I absolutely love that so yeah I'm not gonna keep telling you all the codes from the game but that's it basically I love this franchise so much <laughs> I can make the whole fucking video about Yakuza. Uh, I really love it. Okay. Next is a question uh, from Joe. He said, why did you start streaming? Uh, no deep reason, to be honest. I just, you know, I'm an introverted, shy guy. And uh, speaking of streaming, bit of a shameless plug. The link of my Twitch is in the description if you're interested. But yeah, I'm a bit of an introverted, shy guy. And um, I just wanted to play the games I love. And, uh, you know, grow a small community I vibe with. And just share my passion with them. And just have fun, really. That's it. No crazy deep 
the reason, to be honest. Next, we have a question from Yuchuizi, and he said, How many inches is it?
I don't buy the idea that this all of this came out of nowhere. Bro, just take a look at my stomach. How my stomach is functioning. It's like a, a sophisticated acreage machine. How did it come up? <laughs> how, you know, my eyes. Just take a look at the uh, nature and everything in life. All of that is just out of nowhere. I don't buy that. So yeah, that's my two cents. Hopefully I pronounced that. Uh, yeah, answered that correctly. Why do I have a tram ticket? In my... Uh, <laughs> anyways, next question. Favorite subject at school and why is it maths? <laughs> uh, maths is my least favorite subject or was my least, least favorite subject in school. Uh, I did not really have a favorite subject at school. All of them fucking sucked. <laughs> Next question. One goal that no matter has, no matter what, has never left your mind and sight during your life. I'm gonna switch to soft spoken by the way because I'm getting tired of whispering, you know. Uh, basically, just taking care of my family. That was, that's my, that was always my goal and will always remain my goal is to take care of my family and try to give back to them as much as I can. Uh, yeah, that's the only reason why I wake up every single day. <coughs> Next, what is it to be in your 20s to you? Pain. Straight up pain. Just pain and fucking stress. That's what 20s are. Just pain. <laughs> uh, okay, any more? Uh, what is something new you learned about yourself recently that surprised you? I don't know if it surprised me, but uh, I don't know. I might be borderline autistic, to be honest, because I uh, I do not like socializing to a crazy level like a dangerous level it's not like just a normal shy introverted person i hate socializing to a crazy extent and um i uh i did i did like um i forgot that it's called better help or something but it's like a, a therapy uh online therapy service and i uh did get that service and I did talk to a therapist and uh, yeah I just talked to him for a while and he said that yeah I may may be autistic uh, all what I'm describing is pointing to that direction so I guess that's the new thing I learned about myself but it did not really surprise me because uh, yeah I really hate socializing i really hate going outside i really hate like i i enjoy my own company a lot and i do not want to talk to anyone most of the time and i've passed on so many opportunities because because of that and uh, i get social anxiety you know when i should not because it's just a simple scenario, but I get so fucking anxious. My stomach starts turning and uh, I start sweating. When the scenario in question is literally just picking up a call or responding to a text or something like that. So, yeah. But, <laughs> anyways, where do you, do you see yourself in 10 years? Hopefully, successful. Hopefully, but hopefully happy. I don't see myself uh, doing anything, but I just hope I'm ha whatever I'm doing in the next ten years, 
I'm happy doing it and I'm successful doing it. Uh, next question by Dan. Top 5 characters in entertainment media, gaming, movies, TV shows, etc. Uh, mm, I would go with Majima. Yeah, of course, I'm, of course I gotta talk about Yakuza. Majima from Yakuza, Kiryu from Yakuza. Yamai from Yakuza. <laughs> uh, Joe from The Last of Us. Wait, wait. Are we gonna scratch Joe? Actually, we're gonna scratch Yamai. Okay. Ya uh, Majima from Yakuza. Kiryu from Yakuza. Uh, Lee from The Walking Dead, Kenny from The Walking Dead, and uh, oh. who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? And Joe from The Last of Us. Yeah, I think that's a good list. Machi, Makiru, Lee, Kenny, and Joe. Next question, I think this is the last one by uh, George. If you could get an all-expense-paid vacation anywhere in the world, where would you go? 100% Japan. 100% Japan. It's my favorite country in the world. I love the culture, I love the language, I love the food, I love everything about that country. So yeah, 100% Japan. Uh, oh yeah, we have another question by uh, Joe. Favorite celebrity and why? I don't really I idolize celebrities. Uh, I don't really have favorite celebrities. I have favorite video game characters. I think those are, are more worthy of <laughs> not idolizing but following because you know. But yeah, I don't really have favorite celebrity. I don't. Uh, I can tell you my favorite game, video game character, and that's Kiryu. Why? Because he's Kiryu. <laughs> you gotta play Yakuza to know why. I'm actually really tired now. I'm way past my bedtime. That's why I'm so I'm starting to. But yeah. Anyways, I am so cooked. I am so tired. I'm so sleepy. Uh, thank you so much, guys, for. Uh, for the for the questions thank you dan thank you too easy thank you joe thank you Izzy. thank you george i appreciate you my friends and uh, thank you to you guys the people watching i hope you uh enjoyed this video and found it somewhat interesting and somewhat relaxing uh, if you do have any other ideas for future videos let me know in the comments and yeah thank you so much have a good night. I am so sleepy. I am so sleepy. It's because I'm sleepy. That's why I'm like barely talking straight. Anyways, anyways. Have a good night. Peace out.